I'm Michael Despezio, and no doubt you are familiar with the next generation science standards. And according to NGSS, we need to raise the profile of engineering and engineering practices. Well, I have got a great introductory activity for you, and all it involves is a simple paper clip. And notice that this paper clip is a little bit larger than the standard size ones. Uh, it's great for bending. You'll notice that it's also covered with colored vinyl. Don't worry about the color, any color works for this. What you need to do is to set up your room so that the students are working in teams of two and give each team one of these paper clips. Then have them open up the paper clip into a straight piece of wire, just like this. There we go. Next step is one of the team members needs to clamp down as tightly as they can to one end of that wire. The challenge for the other team member is to access only the last few millimeters and see if they can get it spinning in their team member's grasp. All right, keep trying to do it, but they're locking on with the other hand. Now, this is very difficult to do if you can spin it at all. Also, it's important to have both students try both roles. So let them both enjoy the frustration. <laughs> okay, after they have tried the first step, next, you need to have them take that wire and place two bends in it, one down and one over. So it takes on this shape right here. Again, the same challenge. One student locks on as tightly as they can, the other only has access to the last few millimeters and sees if they can spin it. Look at that. What they will discover is the rotary lever, also better known as the wheel and axle, or a crank. What a great and fun activity to get students involved in all sorts of engineering. And plus, once they've done this, challenge them to see if they can place the bends in other places to make an even more effective crank. I know you're going to enjoy teaching engineering and the engineering practices according to NGSS.